Although we have some melody in place already, it's still very empty and we need to layer up a lot more sounds to get this track to feel really full. So what we're going to do is we're going to make another MIDI track with the Massive. And of course we can right click, create new track and all that stuff again, but we can also just drag in the Massive on this empty space here and it will create a new track for us with the Massive already loaded. Alright, so I'm going to go File, Open, and I'm going to click the Scraper sound that I've supplied for you. And this will program our synthesizer for us to have sort of a scraping sound. So now when I play my keyboard... Something like that, but we're going to add lots of effect to it to make it actually sound a lot different than this. But it's a good start of sort of a, um, sort of a scary organ sound. So I'm going to close this, and call this one scraper and what we're going to do is this sound is um, uh, sort of a long sound with a lot of delay like the longer I keep my key pressed uh, the, the more uh, movement I hear in the sound so what I'm going to do is going to select this whole thing create a new clip and actually make this one um, uh, pretty long notes so we can add lots of effects to it as it moves over time and this is actually sort of a wobble that we're going to make alright so we'll probably start an E again let me see let me drag that out all the way to the 3 alright this may be a little too high since this isn't exactly the same range as the other one was so I'm just going to select these and press shift and then down arrow and that brings it down one octave let's try a couple other octaves just to see Alright, I like it best in the C1 to C2 range, so the uh, first octave, uh, really. Um, sometimes when we start making sounds, uh, you'll feel like, whoa, it really doesn't fit, what's wrong with me, you know, uh, because sound design is pretty pretty difficult. But then it's always a good uh, idea to change the octaves of your notes just to see what range this sound sounds best in. Alright, so what I like about this lower range, if I solo it, you can hear it, is that there's a lot of bottom end, so there's a lot of a, sort of a bassy feel to it, but there's also a sort of a, a high hiss in the higher end. There's a lot of movement in that hiss, and so that will, uh, that will be great when we start adding effects, which is the next thing that we'll do. So instead of the MIDI clip, uh, tab click the effects tab and then uh, we're going to add something um, pretty awesome let's go to audio effects and drag in an auto filter now what a filter does is it filters frequencies and before we start going into this we need to learn a little bit more about frequencies because this is one of the core concept when it comes to sound design or electronic music or any music for that matter so here's what a frequency range is Sound is basically moving air and sound travels through the air in waves. The slower the wave, the lower the sound, and the faster the wave, the higher the sound. The space between each wave is a frequency and we measure frequencies in hertz. When you make music you want to make sure that each instrument in your mix covers a different range of frequencies so that it doesn't conflict with the other instruments. To cut frequencies out of a sound, you can use an equalizer or, in short, an EQ. An EQ shows the bass sounds on the left and the high sounds on the right. We can cut out certain uh, frequencies over time and this creates, for example, wobbles because it cuts off the high tones uh, based on speed. And then if we uh, make that speed faster, it wobbles faster. So we're not really working on the drop yet, but we're working on melodic content in the background of the uh, baby uh, drops or bells or whatever you want to call them and so it will be cool to have this effect have a sort of a slight wobble in its high tones and that sort of prepares you for the rest of the dubstep 
All right, so what we're going to do is in this auto filter is uh, I have this track soloed. So listen to what happens when I start uh, cutting off higher frequencies. On the left, we have the low frequencies. On the right, we have the high frequencies. Check what this sounds like. All right, did that make sense? When we cut it off, it sounds like a wobble. All right, now we don't want to do this manually or over time. Fortunately, the auto filter has this already baked in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sync the rate to MIDI's, uh, the MIDI clock inside of Ableton. And so this syncs it with the speed of the track. And then we're gonna make the amount wobble like full, a full 30. So it will wobble like this. It's like a sort of a rounded wave. So now when I play, it sounds like this. Now I can change the speed by by uh, sliding this rate knob. Right there. Now I don't really like when it wobbles just in this range, so I'm gonna take it down just a little bit. And that's exactly the movement that we're trying to get here. All right, so what we can do is we can change this frequency over time. So if I click the uh, Hertz knob here, this one, it will also select it in here uh, under Auto Filter and then the Frequency knob. Every little button in this um, whole tab is animatable. So if I click this and make sure that that's the last one I've selected, I can double click on this bar and it creates certain dots over time. Now those dots I can take up and down and that moves the knob for me. So if I take, for example, this one down a little bit and then the, th the fourth one up a little bit, sounds like this. All right, and then what we want to do is change the rate over time. So I'm going to click the rate knob, but the rate is only uh, in certain blocks. So as you can see, there is a couple lines in um, in our timeline here that uh, we can change the line to. So let's see what this sounds like. <laughs> Perfect, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit just to give me a little more room. And then I'm going to, instead of creating the dots, I'm going to use the pen tool. And as soon as I have that selected, I can actually draw in what I wanna do with this knob. So say that I want it to be pretty fast at the beginning. And then slowly, I'm gonna make it slower. And slower and I'm gonna do the same thing when it starts over again so two and then two and then two and at the end I'm gonna make two more let's see what this sounds like perfect now let's see what that sounds like in the entire mix All right, maybe we've cut off a little bit too much of the uh, frequencies. So I'm just gonna make this a little higher. Make it a little louder. And I'm happy with that, so let's move on to the next part.